Hi, my name is Dr. Allison Case, and I have a Bachelor's of Science in Mechanical Engineering and a PhD in Biomedical Engineering. And I am joined uh, here today with Guy Gannon, a professor of Mechanical Engineering and Materials Science at Washington University, and of Neurological Surgery at the Washington University School of Medicine. Guy, you study what happens when different materials come together in the body and in nature. What can you tell us uh, briefly about your research and how you got interested in that kind of research? When I had finished a postdoc, actually, I decided to drop everything I've been doing and pick up a, a career studying how mechanics affects health and how mechanics can be used to understand uh, various pathologies. That's, that's how we chose the focus of this lab. There are some real fundamental mechanical problems that, that are, are underlying some of the most important and widespread pathologies uh, that affect our population. So Guy, what I hear you saying is you are able to apply an engineering background to solve these kind of biological problems, so what we call now bioengineering. That's right. So as an example of that, one of the worst surgeries in all of medicine, and my colleagues would agree with this, is attachment of tendon to bone. So when you tear your rotator cuff, you, you're putting together these two very different materials. It's a problem that we have in mechanical engineering all the time. The biggest problem on Boeing's Dreamliner is putting together composite materials, attaching composites to metals. Mm -hmm. The same problem happens in the body, but our bodies have these magical systems to go from one material to, to another. For instance, tendon to bone, the greatest structural mismatch in all of nature, mm -hmm. has this phenomenal, unprecedented in engineering uh, attachment system that, that has these gradients in mineralization, gradients in organization, gradients in composition. But then when you tear your rotator cuff and go to a surgeon, the, uh, the surgeon goes in and will chop off all of that transitional material mm -hmm. and just put it straight down onto bone. Mm -hmm. And it, it ends up being the worst surgery in all of, uh, in, in all of medicine. And you see that uh, engineering can step in and fill this gap, this uh, gap left by modern medicine by surgery. Absolutely, and the idea here is that there are some basic physics that the surgical community is neglecting, and th this basic physics uh, can, be, uh, can be used to guide new approaches to surgeries. Mm -hmm. To me, bioengineering is the application of the basic laws of the universe to understand nature and to improve health. Mechanical engineering is the science of relating how structure, uh, uh, structure following laws of the universe relates to function. And th this is where the next generation of cures lies. What type of skills do you think the next generation of biomedical engineers needs to have to come up with these next generation cures? The next generation of cures, what's lacking in the field, is the mechanical engineer's background. Mm -hmm. The background of basic laws of the universe, mm -hmm. learning how to apply those, learning how to model, learning how to identify what the most important variables are, when understanding a system. Can you speak to the value of the interaction and the connection of different levels and different types of engineers coming together uh, through events at ASME to collaborate, to talk, to share ideas? ASME, and especially its Summer Bioengineering Conference, and now to a, to a growing degree, its Nanoengineering for Medicine and Biology Conference, are really fantastic venues to be able to get two or three experts together uh, in, in, your, in your area mm -hmm. and have that conversation that you can really ever have over email or over the phone. Well, Guy, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Thank you for having me here, Allison. Wonderful, thanks.